Well, I've always known that I wanted to do something creative for a career. I grew up in a family that was very creative and artistic. Um, my dad was could, could make anything. He was a great cook. He knew how to sew. He always said, if you want to do something, just follow instructions. You can do it. It doesn't matter what it is. And he followed the instructions and made a prom dress for me one year in high school. And it was great. It was teal taffeta, but it was fabulous back then. <laughs> um, my mom was always very fashionable. Our home was always put together. and. Um, that's the environment I meant that I grew up in and I had an affinity for drawing, making things. It was always very fun for me. So one year in high school, my mom just gave me an opportunity to decorate my bedroom any way I wanted and she just had no inhibition to do whatever you wanted. And that was where the spark for interiors uh, came to me and that's what I was drawn toward. The drivers would be the workforce and a large portion of that workforce is coming out of college or college age and that age group is used to being convertible, used to moving from place to place. They, they aren't very comfortable or productive in an environment that is closed in, that uh, is that this is your desk, this is your little piece of real estate in this office, and you work here from nine to five. That's not how people work nowadays. That's not how young people work. That's not actually how a more mature um, workforce works anymore. We've kind of adapted to that as well. Being able to take your Blackberry or your phone or your, see I said Blackberry, that just kind of aged me. <laughs> take your iPhone or your iPad and actually work wherever you are is what is the workplace trend now. So we're building environments, we're designing environments that work along that trend. So people don't have an office. Yeah, we do have offices, but there's a lot less of that. The offices that we are designing are more inboard, away from the window, so that the rest of the staff has access to the natural light and to the productivity. We're designing spaces that have collaborative areas because again, the workforce doesn't really work alone anymore. We like to collaborate with others, to come up with new ideas and to make our, our work that we do more effective and, uh, and better. So more collaborative areas, more open spaces. this will grow. It's affecting not only tech companies and uh, young uh, IT companies, but it's also affecting traditional work environments as well. Uh, one project that we just completed, the San Francisco Foundation, which is a nonprofit, had a very traditional office environment for the last 20 years. In fact, we designed that project when they moved in 20 years ago in uh, downtown San Francisco. And it was very traditional with private offices on the window lines, cubicles in the center with very high panels. So everyone had their little real estate that they were claiming with their little pictures of their kids on the wall. And no one really worked together. There was a couple of conference rooms, but it was a very individual working environment. So through a lot of discussion and collaboration with the staff as well as the, the team leaders, we actually involved them into the concept of a more open, collaborative work style. So we took a very traditional client and moved them into an environment that was open. We moved the private offices that they decided to retain to the interior of the space, and we gave everyone this access to natural light. And we heard, although there was a little bit of resistance as we we're going through the design process, bringing them in, bringing the staff into the environment or into the conversation actually helped to ease them into the final product. And we haven't had any heard, at least I haven't, any complaints. I've only heard a lot of positive responses to how bright their space is and how active and being able to see and to hear everyone um, was really a positive change.
back to the natural light. I think that that defines a really great environment to work in. Being able to see outside from your desk, not just filtered through someone's little window of side light in their desk, but actually to get some access to natural light so that you can see what time of day it is. You can see if there's still time to go home to your family and to actually you know, go to the gym or hang out and do homework with the kids. You can kind of get an, a gauge of where you are in the day. So that's important to be able to have a balance in life. So I think the work, perfect workplace would be to have access to light, to have an open space. Uh, as an interior designer and architect, we always have worked in environments that were open. We never had really high panels or enclosed spaces. We'd like to have an open dialogue. And so I, I still think that that's a really positive work environment.